viewers to another episode on ASUG 12 exams. So in this episode we continue looking at the August 2022 science paper 2 which is basically the standard O level chemistry and this happens to be the last question in this paper. So let us uh, look at question C3 itself as we close this paper. So please, if you haven't seen the previous episode in which we've covered all the questions in this paper up to this far, please go and check on our YouTube channel. We've covered all the questions extensively just to help you ace your grade 12 exams. C3, propene is one of the main important hydrocarbons obtained from crude oil. Like propane, it is made up of molecules which contain three carbon atoms. Question A, Roman numeral 1, draw a structural formula for propene. That's basically the first question. So let us answer the first question on the new page. So A, Roman numeral 1. So we are told that uh, basically this uh, contains uh, three carbon and this is propene. So this is propene, you see an alkene. So this is basically an alkene. So it has uh, a double bond somewhere. So what we do is basically alkene follow this generic formula. So when a C is equal to a 3, then we have 3, then it will be H, which is 2 times 3, it will be a 6. So it's going to be C, C, then double bond here. Then we are going to have one hydrogen this side, then this hydrogen this side, then hydrogen then hydrogen because here there is no double bond then we are going to have hydrogen here then we are also going to have another hydrogen here and this makes it 6 so basically this is uh, the structural formula Loma number 2 how does propene differ from propane in terms of bonds so what you notice in this case is if we were to light uh, the structural formula of these two, just to make you understand what will happen is uh, the other one, propane, is going to have this because it follows this generic uh, formula plus 2. So the formula itself, instead of having 6 here, is going to have 8. So that one is going to be, just replace it so that you know the difference is going to be this then H8. So here there will be H, here there will be H, here H, then here also H, then H, then H. So this is what is going to happen. So it's not going to have N double bond. So that's why our cans, our cans are referred to as saturated compounds because they do not have N bond that remains to uh, open to addition. So the difference is this one as a double carbon bond. Then this one as a single carbon bond. So bond. Hence these are saturated. These are unsaturated. That's the difference. So how do they differ? They differ in a way that uh, propene has double carbon bonds as opposed to a single bond. That's how they differ. We look at question A, Loma numero 3, to which group of hydrocarbons does propene belong? So propene belongs to our alkenes. We fill the general formula like I've said this to N. Loma numeral 5 of N give the molecular formula for propane and propene respectively. So we've already done this. So um, for propene is basically a C this is basically C3H6. This is this propene. Then R for propane is basically C3H8. Because this one follows this generic formula. 
like we've already explained in so when c is 3 we put 3 here then we get uh, this uh, formula this is for propane we move to question b loma numero 1 explain why propane reacts immediately with bromine water whereas propane does not so this is what i've just explained so what you notice in this case uh, this one has a, a double bond because it has a double carbon bond it undergo additional reaction so to the double bond can be broken in such a way that uh, basically an additional uh, element breaks this one then you have this bond so bromine would come here and be here then you have this additional reaction where here it can't happen because this is associated all the bonds are done all the possible reactions or additional as being are completed so it's because of the double carbon bond so because propene has a double carbon bond hence it is an saturated compound meaning you can add additional uh, element so you can do that through the process known as bromination or hydrocarbonation where you break that double bond by adding an additional uh, hydrogen to form uh, large molecules of uh, alkanes then describe what would be observed during the reaction so during the reaction what you would observe is as this additional reaction is happening decalization of the bromine water this bromine water will be observed so the bromine water would do uh, basically lose its reddish brown color due to the formation of a uh, uh, big dye bromine so because the addition is taking place it is losing its color so the decolorization of bromine water will be uh, basically observed so this is how you answer this question question c propene is obtained by breaking down longer chains of hydrocarbons what is this process called so this process is uh, known as uh, cracking which is basically you break down the large or longer hydrocarbons many of these alkanes so they are alkanes that you break down into uh, basically alkenes using the process known as cracking d propene is a monomer for making an important plastic state the name of the polymer it forms so the polymer that it will form is known as a poly propene this is uh, basically the polymer it will form so remember when you're naming the polymer you just add the word poly then the name of the monomer in this case the monomer is propene so if you're interested in knowing uh, the structural formula let me just explain to you how this uh, polymer would look so remember the monomer in this case is a uh, propene so propene we are going to write it in this uh, form, form which uh, is going to have a double bond here then this uh, is going to have this remember the formula remains the same you are just writing it in a different structural for formula the formula still remains this uh, C3 generally are uh, H6 remember there are 3 plus 1 which is 4 5 6 then this when we do polymerization is going to give us this polymer so the first thing is this c double bond is going to be broken so that you have c and c here then this edge here the way it is this edge the edge on top this one then this one this edge would mean the way it is then this one comes in here then this becomes now like that then this will be the repeating unit that will be added to form large or longer molecule so this is the poly propene which is a polymer so basically this is how you answer this question to get uh, the 10 marks